Hi friends. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a new thing um, where I'm going to do uh, read alouds on a YouTube account and you guys are going to get to listen along. So we might be doing some of these things for literacy activities moving forward because um, it'd be really nice for us to still be able to read together and discuss some of the books like we used to in class. Um, and so please give me your feedback on how you guys like this format. Let me know if it's working for you, if there are ways that you think we could be doing this um, a little bit more clearly. Um, but anyway, today we are going to be reading a book called Bridge of Flowers, all right? And it's written by Leah Lakrishmi, and I'm sorry, I'm going to say this name wrong, but I'll do my best, Piepsana Zaramashina, uh, and it's illustrated by Cyrus Marcus Ware. Okay, and it's a really cool book. There's beautiful photos in it, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm just gonna get started, all right? I'm gonna adjust this a little bit, okay? So, start here. So, I'm quiet and I listen to things. That's why I'm telling this story. So this is what happened. My mom, Soraya, is a witch, which mostly means she listens to people talk about their problems, and then she makes them potions out of flour, dirt, spit, rocks, and good thoughts to help them feel better. My bapa, Kamanu, is a scientist. They spend a lot of time looking at pieces of moss through different microscopes. When my mom and bapa fell in love, they planted two trees, one for each of them. They planted them close but far so they could be next to each other but still have room to grow. Ooh, I figure this out. Soraya did a magic spell and Kamu put down a lot of fertilizer and the trees grew really big really fast. That's because they told us later on magic and science are different versions of the same thing. The thing was they loved each other but they didn't really like living together. Mom would spill lipstick and crystals and baking grease all over everything, and Bapa wanted things to get wiped down clean all the time, because otherwise the baking grease got into their experiments. When they fought, Mom said baking grease and lipstick are magic, and Bapa said yes, but so is a clean counter. They stopped living together. Mom said, you can love someone, and they can also really get on your nerves. They wove this bridge so we could always be close to, to each other, but go away when we need to. There's jasmine, sunflowers, moonflowers, some wild roses, cacti, that's where Agnes comes from, and a little yellow wildflower I don't know the names of. When my sibling, Kumar, got older, they made a skateboard ramp off it because skating is all they want to do ever. <laughs> they flipped a lot of ollies off the bridge to the ramp on the ground and then came back up and did it again. I mostly stay inside and write in my journal and dream because sometimes the outside is too much, even if it is full of flowers. Sometimes I just sit in the middle of the bridge and listen, especially when it is the middle of the night and everything is quiet and breathing. I am quiet and breathing, too. A couple years ago, the world got extra stressful. More and more people kept calling mom for help, and she kept picking more and more flowers from the vines for her potions to keep people okay. Bapa kept picking a few more mosses and lichens off the bridge every day for their experiments in how to make the air better. One day, we went outside, and the bridge had fallen apart because they picked too much. Our parents were kind of frozen and then said, Arg, we'll deal with that later, and went back to work, because that's what parents do when things are too much. They got into a big fight about whose fault it was and wouldn't talk to each other. Without the bridge, we had to go 
We had to go all the way down the ramp and then all the way up the elevator, and it was annoying. And a lot of people would say, Soraya has a ramp and Kamu has an elevator. Why do they need a bridge? But me and Kumar disagreed. We wanted us to go back and forth easy, like if they left their backpacks or if I forgot Agnes, or we needed our mother parent, our other parent, to come right away. Also, the bridge was just beautiful. Look how beautiful that looks in the photos. Our parents weren't talking, so I stayed up and looked at the stars and talked to Agnes about this. Kumar was off with whoever they hang out with on their phone. Days went by. I don't always get along with Kumar, but we both agreed that this was ridiculous and we had to do something. And people think that people who are quiet don't have magic like people who are always talking about it. But they are very wrong. So I snuck into Soraya's cabinet, the one she never locks because she trusts us, and I got some of her charmed honey, some gardenia, and moonflower seeds, and some magic dirt. Kumar went into Kemu's lab and gathered some spores of lipstick leechin and unsia, un usnia, and then I wasn't sure what to do next. But I held the seeds and dirt and honey in my hands and whispered to Agnes for good luck. And then we put our hands together and thought really hard about what we wanted. When we opened them, we could see that the bridge had grown back. But also, it hadn't just grown back between our houses. We went to wake up our folks, but they were up. They hadn't been able to sleep and were up working on saving the world. Mom put down her tinctures, Papa put down their slides, and they went to come see, and it was good. It turns out that even though I am quiet, I have magic too. Or maybe I have magic because I'm quiet. Because it's wonderful to live apart, but it's also good to be able to go see the people you love. And sometimes when you don't think you know what you are doing is when you are the most magic. All right, guys, I really love that story again. That was called Bridge of Flowers. All right. And we're going to be adding some discussion questions in and some time to reflect on the book um, in just a little bit during your literacy circle check in time. OK, so it's great reading with you guys. Let me know what you thought and I will see you guys soon. Bye.